Hi guys, um, Mark Lincoln here from Deacon's Martial Arts. Um, we're going to go through a hip flow stretch today. It's not just for martial arts, anybody can do it. It's great to warm up your hips, help your lower back pain. Any, any sport, no sport, just a really good hip stretch. Um, so we're going to be focusing on the kind of the hip flexors, the front of the hips, around the sides and into the glutes. Um, and also into the doctors today, so you should feel a little bit fresher afterwards. And it will be at around about 8 to 10 minutes. So Hop heels, dudes. Louis is going to do it facing forwards. I'm going to do it facing this way for now. So to start off with, you're going to go knee forward. I want you to make sure before you start, you tip or kind of turn your hips in this way. You should already feel it on your hip flexor here. Try and keep that tension in your abs throughout. Okay. What I want you to do then is push into it a little bit. Turn your toes and your knees slightly out of the way. And drop your hands in the middle. So you'll be here right now. Okay. So you're going to stay there. You should hopefully feel this here. If you want to increase this stretch, what I would like you to do is try and lower yourself down on the inside of this foot to your elbows. Now, you may not be able to do that, like Lily is easy, so you might be around here. So just copy us, follow along. So this is fine, here's fine, Lily's is fine. If you want to make that a little bit harder, uh, and add a bit of motion into it to try and ease off your lower back. What you can do is try and drop this elbow as low as it will go. Take it up to the ceiling and you'll feel it ease off. And then you're going to go back down to here. And then take it up. And you can keep doing this if you want. You don't need to. You can. Just keep this pressure on here. It's up to you. And again, you should be feeling this here. But you will also be feeling it here as well. Okay? And that is about a minute, so we're going to progress to the next stretch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foot, I'm going to put it in the middle of my hands. I'm going to let this knee go out to the side, and my foot turns sideways. If you've got a slippery floor, you may need to pin your foot. And from there, I'm just going to lower my chest or my face towards my foot. And hold. And again, you do that, ignore me. While you're doing this, you probably feel this in the outside of your hip, okay? And you should be somewhere between there. Some of you are really might be flexible or quite flexible already, and you can possibly drop your elbows down. But what I need to make sure you're doing is that, that that foot is either between your chest or your head, somewhere around here. It's not tucking in around your groin, okay? So you're gonna hold it here. We've got about 15 seconds longer. And again, don't worry if this hurts all the way up here already, stay there, you don't have to get that as well as me. Um, and then from here, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take that foot further over and try to drop the knee to the floor. So if you look, hand, hand, my shin is facing forwards. Okay, I'm trying to keep that angle, but what I'm not doing is sitting down like I am here. So I'm going to keep myself over here and hold. And again, this one you'll feel hip flexor if you're keeping those abs switched on and outside of the hip here. Some of you may find this knee will not go to the floor, in which case you might be here. And that's fine as long as you're feeling the stretch. And if you can get the knee down, knee will be down and you'll be pinned here. And again, just try and focus on relaxing and staying upright. Slow breaths help. And that sounds all yoga y and fancy, but it does help. So slow, calm breaths, and you'll feel yourself ease off a little bit. Um, you do get some, kind of, especially some of the, some styles of yoga will drop over this leg, but I want you to stay here because I want to keep the stretch on both sides. And that is about a minute, so we're going to switch over to the other side now, and we're going to repeat the whole process again, and I'm going to do this at a funny angle here, just so you can see it from a better angle as well. Just drive this leg forwards, and again, we're going to switch the abs on, Tuck the hips under, then push into it, then turn and pop your hands down. Again, some people, this is probably a good stretch already, in which case stay where you are. If you want to increase this, then what you can do, again, is aim to lower yourself down, possibly aim to get your elbows down, and if you want an in-between one again, and you want to ease it off nicely, you're going to go reach down, reach up and reach down as you can see this one i find a lot more difficult try not to turn that over you'll see my lifting up much just to try and try that out so, so you're going to be here oh, so you can either hold it or you can do this one 
It's completely normal to have one side tighter than the other as well, guys. Obviously, we don't want that to happen, but you might find that. Uh, my time is shocking, but that's about a minute. So we're going to take this foot in, and we're going to go to this one first. So middle of your hands. If it's slippy, you may need to just pin your foot. And we're aiming on this one to come down towards this foot. You may find a bit, you feel like you're a bit cramped, in which case you can slide that back leg back a little bit if it helps, but it doesn't matter too much. And you're going to focus on lowering towards this foot. You may be here, you may be here, you may be a lot better than me and you've got your face on the floor. <sighs> but not for me. Um, and just again, do slow breaths, calm, and then try and relax. It may hurt a little bit, that's fine. It's normal to hurt a bit as long as it's not kind of in your joints, um, as long as you know that it feels like your muscle. And then we're going to progress that, take that foot across, drop the knee down, drop your hands on top if you can, and relax, and try and slide the back leg out if you need to. And just relax into it basically, try and stay nice and upright. Again, if that knee's popping up, hand on the floor. If it wants to pop up, then pop up. Um, you probably notice this one, my leg doesn't seem to want to stay out so much. Again, that's fine. I'm just feeling it in the right place with these are. He's off me, he's off me. Just hold it there and relax. I've got about 20 seconds ish left. Should feel a little bit easier, oh, a bit looser, I should say, already. So, oh, you might want to give your legs a bit of a wiggle, it might take you a second. When you feel okay, bring yourself to stand in, give everything a bit of a shake. We're just going to finish with a bow stretch on two different angles. So, you're going to slide your legs out a little bit, you're going to turn this foot out, bend the knee, drop the hip, and you're going to do it at this angle first. You might be up here. You might feel that here already, that's absolutely fine. If you're quite flexible, you might, get, you might even fall over that a little bit. I'm going to hold that one there. I'm not going to put that out. <laughs> and you should feel this here, maybe into the hip flexor in the groin area. Um, and just there, and try and relax. What I want you to do now is put your hands on the floor and you may need to move this foot a little bit but basically I want you to now to turn your hips, drop your bum to your knees. So, so rather than being here, I'll turn over here. My legs straight and my toes pointing up to the ceiling at this point. Again, depending on how flexible you are, this may already hurt. If you're okay, you're going to focus on leaning towards this leg. You should feel that stretching your hamstrings over here, possibly in your hip flexor as well. Oh, sorry, doctor. to the other side, so we go here, Ooh, point that one, drop there, you should feel it, hip flexor, so um, adduct up and your hip flexor here, and try and relax, anywhere around here is fine, try not to put all loads of pressure on his back knee, so if you're going to kind of lean on the knee at all, try and make it this one here, and focus on dropping the hip down. Again, from there, drop your hands, turn a little bit, drop your bum to your heel if you've got the ability to do that. Um, toes pointing up, legs straight, and tilt towards that straight leg. Again. And again, this is bringing into the hamstrings a little bit more. And hold it there.
give everything a bit of a wiggle. And that is your stretch for today. So that kind of focused on a 10 minute stretch flow around your hips and glutes, etc., etc. Um, we've also got another 10 minute stretch flow that focuses more on kind of hamstrings, hip flexors, box splits, kind of things that would help you kick in martial arts. Again, still good for everyone really, to be honest, but um, it's, it's focused more on scissor splits, box splits, um, those kind of more advanced stretching. Uh, so if you want to try that one out, give it a try, kind of check that video out. Um, if not, hopefully you're feeling a little bit fle more flexible and have a good day.